So giving does not help the ones to whom you give. It helps in changing your levels. Giving is for your profiting far beyond the profiting of the people to whom you give. My prayer is that each one will return home today with this covenant mentality. And what makes it easy? We are permitted to start from where we are. He said, from the place we are thou art. Look northwards and southwards and eastward and westward. For all the land we thou seest unto you will I give it. From where you are. No commandment of scriptures is ordained to be burdensome. From where you are. Start there. When our total income in church was 18,000 plus in 1984, the whole of the year, my own seed was there. That was our level, all of us. Praise God. I'd like to show us just something before we close in this session. I captioned this clip, Wonders of Sowing into Kingdom Advancement and Divorce. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 2 to 11. Okay, chapter 1, sorry. Chapter 1 and verse 2 to 11. Then came the word of the Lord of hosts. Thus began, these people say the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Agai the prophet saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses? And this house lies waste. Now therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much and bring a little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And eat that earned wages, earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain now and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. You look for much and Lord came to little and when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why, said the Lord, because of my house that is waste and ye run every man to his house. And what happens? Therefore, the heaven over you is dead from dew, and the earth from yielding our fruit. And I, God, called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the earth. I shut the heaven, because you have not minded my house. I shut the heaven, because you feel secure by where you are. Go up to the mountain, and I will reopen the heaven. So, kingdom promotion investments opens the heavens opens the heavens and releases heaven's favor over our lives and our endeavors in life seek ye first the interest of the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you all 
is a word of unlimited favor. All, all, by giving the kingdom of God its priority place in your life, particularly in your finances. It endears you to God. It unleashes heaven's blessings on you because you favor his house. Hear what he said. Let them shout for joy that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. We take it pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm 35 and verse 27. So God delights in prospering people that favor his righteous cause, that are committed to promoting the interest of his kingdom with their resources. There was a man that grew and increased exceedingly, his name David. In Psalm 132, beginning from verse 1, God speaking. I mean, David speaking, Lord, remember David and his in all his afflictions. How he swear unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob, saying, What? Surely I will not come into my tabernacle, the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes and slumber to my eyelids. Until I find a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Amen. What a vow. Now, in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 3, David speaking said, Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God. Amen. He was a super wealthy king. If you read that scripture to verse 7, in the modern translations, you see how many millions of dollars of worth of gold and silver that David gave in preparation for the building of the temple. Even when God told him, I won't let you build it. He said, God, can I have your permission to gather materials for it? The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. So David was celebrated 3,000 years after he passed on in Israel. His resting place is still preserved today. And visitors trooping there day after day. Thousands of years after he left.